This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, Bruchem Abam, welcome everyone to a special edition of All Parsha on Parshas Vayechi, the closing parsha of Sefer Bereshis. I'd like to share with you 12 nuggets of the Balaturim on Parshas Vayechi, focusing on the bracha specifically to Yehuda. Vayechi Yaakov, and Yaakov lived. Balaturim says, his real life, his full life, his life of fullness was Vayechi, Gematria 17. There were two periods of 17 years that Yaakov Avinu's life was considered complete. That is, from the time that Yosef was born, when he shared life with his beloved wife, Rachel, having Yosef, his prized son and student, at his side, until Yosef was sold. That was one period of Vayechi. And the second period of Vayechi was when Yaakov Avinu spent 17 years in Mitzrayim. In fact, the Medrash compares those 17 years that Yaakov lived in Mitzrayim to the 17 years at the end of life of Rebbe, that Rebbe lived in uh, extreme peace and tranquility in Sipoiri. In fact, the Megala Amukai says that Rebbe was the Gilgal of Yaakov Avinu, Rebbe Huda Hanasi Nitzutz Shel Yaakov Avinu. Hanasi Nitzutz Shel Yaakov Avinu. That's why he's called Rabbeinu HaKadosh, because Yaakov Avinu composed Ata Kadosh. Next Pasuk, Pasuk Chavtes, Vayikrivu Yemei Yisrael Lamos. The Balaturim says, There are two Psukim in the Mesoretic note that use the expression Vayikrivu Lamos. We have by Yaakov and by David. Says the Medrash, this is Masech to Soifrim, that even though it is our tradition that there are 150 Prakim and Tehillim, there is a concept that they can be broken down into 147 segments corresponding to the years of the life of Yaakov Avinu. Says the Medrash, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to David, you made 147 Mizmoirim corresponding to the years of Yaakov, you will be Zoycha like him. Just like him and his son ruled. They were Moilech at the same time. Yaakov was Melech and Yosef was Melech. So too, David and Shloimai also ruled simultaneously. So that is the connection between Vayikravu Yimei Yisrael Lamos to Vayikravu Yimei David Lamos. Now I'd like to focus on the bracha to Yehuda. The Pasuk says, Yehuda, ato yoiducha achecha. And the Balaturim gives us a mnemonic. The mnemonic is Bika Shemai. There are five letters that must, must appear at the top of a column of a Sefer Torah. And they are Bika Shemai. Six letters. Bika Shemai. Bez Yod and then Hey. Shin, Mem, and Vav. Six letters that must appear at the top of a column. The Bez, of course, of Bereshus always begins at the beginning of the column at the top of the column. The Yud of Yehuda, Ato Yehuda, Yehuda, you admitted. That is a very fundamental Pasuk in the Chumash. Hey, Haboyim Achareyam Bayam. Those who came after them in the sea, that hey appears at the top of the line. And the Baal Turm is telling it to us here, because this Yehuda, Yehuda Ato Yehuda, has to appear at the top of a column. Shin, Shemar Lecha, Guard for yourself in Parshas Kisisa. Mem of Matoivu Oihalacha Yaakov. And in Devarim Ve'aidabam Es Hashamayim. As uh, based on the Pasuk, Ki Beka Hashem Tzur Oilamim. This is the rock of the universe. These pillars of Torah, these fundamental psukim, appear at the top of a column, indicating their significance and uh, important nature. Now the Baal Turim directs us to study the gematria of Yehuda. Yehuda is numerically valued at 30, as there are 30 malos, which Malchus is nicknamed with, and Malchus was given to Yehuda, as the Pasuk says, O Yasr Sheva Mi Yehuda. Then Yadcha, we have the Pasuk, the numerical value of the Rashi Tevos, Yoiducha, of the numerical value of the Rashi Tevos, of these four words, Achecha, Yadcha, Ba'oyref, Oyevecha, is 14. Gematria, David, because David too had this great strength of Oyref, Oyevecha, like the Pasuk says in 
Shmuel Beis, Perek Chav Beis, Pasuk Mem Aleph, Ve'o Yevai Tatali Oiref. And we continue on. Gur Arye Yehuda, Lion Cub is Yehuda. That is numerically valued at David Ushloimai, David and Solomon. They were the lion cubs of Yehuda, the early kings. Gur Arye Yehuda, David Ushloimai. Also, Gur Arye Yehuda, Rashi Tevois, Gimel Aleph, Yud, 14, Gematria, David. Also, Gur Arye, the kingdom of Malchus with David started even earlier. It started Zen Nachshon. This is Nachshon. Why was Nachshon considered a lion cub of Yehuda? Well, in a way, he was the first Melech, as the Medrash tells us. Why was Yehuda Zoycha to Malchus? Because Nachshon jumped into the Yam. So we could say that's why Nachshon is also considered Gor Aryeh, because he, in a sense, was the first Melech of the Malchei Yehuda. Now, in offering number 9, the Balaturim points out, the Mesoretic note indicates that the word Alisa appears three times in this Pasuk. Mitaref Beni Alisa, in the Pasuk of Ki Alisa Mishkevei Avicha, and Alisa Lamaraim Lakachta Matanais. Now, this is understood as follows, says the Balaturim, Ruvain, it was said, Alisa, Ruvain said, Alisa, as the Pasuk says, Alisa Lamaraim Lakachta Matanais, indicating the connection between the word Alisa that Alisa is said in reference to the gifts of Kahuna and Malchus, as Ruvain was supposed to have these gifts. But he lost it. Why did he lose it? Because Ki Alisa Mishkeve Avicha. He confused and he changed the bed of his father. He moved the bed of Yaakov out of Leah's tent and in, out of Bilha's tent and into Leah's tent. And who was it given to? Malchus was given to Yehuda, about whom it says. Mitaref Bani Alisa. So Alisa said in reference to the gift of Malchus, it was taken away from Ruvain because Ki Alisa Mishkevei Avicha, and it was given to Yehuda because Mitaref Bani Alisa. Then we have the word Umechoikeik Mi Bain Raglav, and a ruler from between his legs. In other words, Lo Yasur Sheva Mi Yehuda Umechoikeik Mi Bain Raglav. Now, very interesting. The Ramban learns this pasuk that kings will always come from Yehuda. And the Ramban therefore is troubled that, uh, about the actions of the Hashmonoim, who they seem to have taken Melucha, and the Ramban learns that that's why they were wiped out. But the Abarbanel vehemently disagrees with the Ramban. Abarbanel says the Hashmonoim did nothing wrong, that even uh, the whole time the Hashmonoim, so to speak, ruled, there was a Nagid, a prince in Yerushalayim from Shebet Yehuda, who was the Rosh Sanhedrin, and the Barbanel learns that the promise of Layas Hashem Yehuda is that Torah leadership, the Gedoyle Hadar, will always come from Yehuda. They always did, starting with Nachshon throughout history. And the Barbanel says, even in his times, the leaders of the Jewish people were scions on the Malchus based David. And this is certainly Ro'uyin Lamisha Amrai. As we know, that Barbanel himself was Geza Mi Beis Yishai. He was a direct descendant of David HaMelech. So, according to Abar Benel, La Yasser Sheva Yehuda is a reference to Torah leadership. And this fits seamlessly with the comments of the, of the Balaturim that U Mechoikek Mi Bein Raglov is Gematria Talmide Chachamim or Gematria Toira as a reference to the idea that this is not monarchy that the Pasuk is saying will always be in the hands of Yehuda. As we know, there was Shaul and there was Yeravim Ben Nevat and there were the Chashmonaim. But rather, Mechoikeik Mi Bein Raglov, Layos Hashem Yehuda, refers to Torah leadership. Says about Aturim, Ad Kiyavai Shiloi, until Shiloi comes. That Rashi says is a reference to Mashiach. The Balaturim says, Shiloi is Gematria 345, Gematria Moshe. And this fits well with that which our Chaim HaKadosh tells us from the Zayar that Moshe will be the Mashiach. And the Remez is, Moshe is Rashi Tevois, Ma Shehoya Hu Shehiyah. What was, 
will be. Moshe was the Goyal Rishon, he was the first Redeemer, he will be the Goyal Achron, he will be the final Redeemer. I, the Archaim HaKadosh asks, doesn't the Melech HaMashiach have to come from Yehuda? To which the Archaim HaKadosh says that Moshe Rabbeinu encompassed all the Shvatim, he encompassed Shishim Riboy, and therefore he can in fact be the Mashiach. Let us end off with the following comment of the Balaturim. The Balaturim says at the close of the Birch Yaakov, the Pasuk says, Parak Mem Tes, Pasuk Chav Ches, Vezoi Sashar Dibar Lohem Avim, and this is what their father said to them. It says, the Balaturim, Moshe concluded with the word Vezoi, and Yaakov Avinu applied the principle, Zikenem Es Boinon. He contemplated what Yaakov did, and therefore he began, Moshe contemplated what Yaakov did, and Yaakov concluded with Vezoi, so Moshe begins his bracha, so Moshe followed the paradigm of Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov ended with Vezois. Moshe begins with Vezois. And on that note, I wish everyone, as we conclude, Sefer Bereshis. May we all be zeicha to the bracha that we will give the oila to Chazak. Chazak, Chazak, Benes Chazek. May Hashem strengthen us in our understanding, in our desire to delve deeper into Tarasenu HaKadosha. Wishing everyone a wonderful rest of the week and Parshas Vayechi Haba Aleinu Letayva. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.